The purpose of this module is to demonstrate the data profiling setup. This is applicable to Informatica versions 9.0.1 all hotfixes, 9.1 all hotfixes and 9.5. For the purpose of this exercise we will be using Informatica 9.1. What we will be doing today is create the data integration service, the profile warehouse, content management service, and analyst service. Next, we will import a source to be profiled using the analyst tool. And finally, create and execute a profile against this source. As shown in the prerequisites, the environment should have a running model repository service and the connection objects pointing to the schemas where the profile warehouse, staging tables and the source table are hosted. As you can see here from the admin console, the model repository service already exists. It is called MRS underscore demo. And switching to the connections tab, we can see that there are two connections. One is for the profile warehouse and the staging database and the other is for the source data. It is recommended that separate schemas be used for profile warehouse and staging database but for this demo we are using the same schema. Now to create the data integration service. To do that we first switch back to the services and nodes tab and from actions we select new and select data integration service we give it a name and let us call it DIS demo. We select a license, select the node where this will run, specify the port number where the data integration service will run. We specify the model repository service, the user ID, and also the password. This would be the user ID and password of a valid user in the model repository service. We select next. We specify the uh, schema for the profile warehouse. We select from the list available. We select pwh underscore staging that was already created. Now we uh, select the option to create the profile warehouse tables. Since they don't exist, we can create them at the time of uh, starting up the data integration service. So we choose this option, no content exists under the specified connection. And we select next. We are not using HTTPS, so we don't need to set anything over here. And we select the option to enable service. Now that the data integration service has been created and enabled, the next thing to do is to create the content management service. For that we set the cursor back at the domain, select actions, new, and choose the option for content management service. We give it a name, let us call it CMS demo. We select the license, we select the node, and we give the port number where it will run. We specify the data integration service it is associated with and select next. We are not using HTTPS so we just choose the option to enable service and click finish. Now that the content management service has been created the next thing to do is to create the analyst service. So once again we set the cursor at the name of the domain, select actions, choose new and select analyst service. We give it a name so let's call it AT underscore demo. We select the license, we select a node, we specify the port number where the analyst service will run, we specify the model repository service which is the MRS underscore demo, uh, valid user ID and password for the model repository service. We 
We select the data integration service, that would be the DIS demo. We specify the flat file cache location, which should be a directory which the data integration service can access. Uh, for the sake of convenience here we are going to be specifying a dot which means tomcat bin. We have to specify a staging database connection object. So that would once again we are using pwh underscore staging and we say no content exists so that it will create the audit trail tables. Select next. We are not using HTTPS for this exercise. So we select the option to enable service and click finish. Now that the services are created, we need to import a source and profile it. First, let us launch the analyst tool. So from the analyst service, we select the service URL, which will open a separate browser window. This is a view of the analyst tool. As you can see, there are no projects over here, so we shall create a project. Select Actions, select New, and create the project. Give it a name, let us call it Test, and click OK. Now that the project is created, we need to import a source. So we, take, we select the option New Table. This displays the list of connection objects that are available. We choose the option, we select the connection object data CNX and click next. This shows the list of tables under that schema. So we scroll down to pick the table we want to profile. Let us choose the table EMP. So it'll show the properties of the table and the columns of the table. Click next. And this is the table that is going to be added. And select finish. This will add the table to the project. Now to create a profile for this particular table. So we select the object and right click on it. Select new choose the option profile. This brings up the panel for the new profile. You can see the name of the table on the left and all of the columns within the table on the right. We choose the option next. Here we give the profile object a name. The default value is always a profile underscore the name of the table. For now, we will leave it as it is and select Next. This is the run screen of the profile where you see all of the columns on the left which are checked for profiling on and to the right you can see the various sampling options like all rows, the first n rows, random sampling and you can specify whether you want to drill down uh, on live data or on stage data. Here you have the option to either save the profile or save and run the profile. For now we will use the option to save the profile and we will run it as the next step. So we click save. Once the profile is saved it automatically brings up the results window. As we can see, all of these values are set at NA, not available. This is because the profile has never been run. To execute the profile, we choose the option to run profile. This brings up the run window, which shows all of the columns which are chosen for profiling on the left and the sampling options. Now here we select run. This executes the profile. So the profile execution is completed and now we can see the number of unique values for a column, the min and max number for a column, the last run of the particular profile and that kind of information. If you want to see the value frequencies for any particular column, you can choose that column. 
for example, if we want to see the value frequency for job ID, we highlight this particular column, job ID. It automatically brings up the value frequencies on the right. It says what are the unique values, 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this example, and the frequency is 3 each. This is how the services are set up so that it is possible to profile data. These are few useful guides which will provide more information. The Data Explorer Getting Started Guide and User Reference Guide, the Data Quality Getting Started Guide, and the User Reference Guide. You can provide feedback as shown here either by email to support videos at informatica.com or on the Twitter account as shown here. And that ends this presentation.